Joining me now on Telecom TV is Jeff Hollingworth, Chief Marketing Officer for Mobile Edge X. Jeff, good to see you again. Great to see you, Guy. Thanks for joining us on, on Telecom TV. Mobile Edge X is a company that was set up by Deutsche Telekom. Yes. Um, but why? What's, what's, the, what's the premise behind the company? Yeah, so Deutsche Telekom did a large internal study uh, around edge computing, and they realized that it was an opportunity for them to get into different businesses as they moved into a 4G to 5G world. But it was something that they couldn't do internally because the whole industry needs to do it. So at the start of 2018, they created Mobile Edge X to focus on really being an advanced user of the capabilities in telecom and then to, to bring new customers to them and new revenue and new opportunities. And when we talk about edge and the network edge, there's quite a, a range of definitions currently in, in the market. Where do you place the edge? Where, where do you see the, the, the edge focus being? Well, so we think it's really important to, to completely understand there are many edges. And, and we have a, a simple model that says, let's break it down into four. There's, there's always going to be a device edge. There is an on-premise edge. There is a, a network or telecom edge. And then there is a cloud or public cloud or internet edge. And all of them are valuable for different reasons at different times. The, the question is, where should things work and why? And how to make it really easy for solutions as they increasingly distribute to work across all of them. Now, I, I think the reason that there's so much, excite, so much excitement about edge at the moment is that it's the telecom edge and that, especially the investments into 5G edge, that's the new edge. So that could be a very disruptive force for changing how people build solutions, scale them, uh, address different markets. So in order for these solutions to appear, you, you've, you've got to have a, an ecosystem in place of, of, of developers and have the resources available to them. How, how, how important is it to, to create this and, and make sure we've got this established from the outset? Yeah, uh, it's what we think we're seeing at the moment is the formation of the next 10 to 15 years of ecosystem that creates how this digital world is going to combine with the physical world. And there's two ways that infrastructure have been built to date. One, one way is, is the cloud-centric way. And that's very much what the public cloud guys have done. It's a very much winner-takes-all model. Uh, and they very centralized and it starts to, to roll out. Uh, it's very proprietary. You, you choose which public cloud to really get in bed with. But there's another way to build large-scale infrastructure that's completely different. And that's the mobile network or the telecom infrastructure way. That's grounded in spectrum. There's four people, three or four people per country. And that wants to be as open as possible from a vendor point of view, connectivity point of view, uh, I, and, and also allow those clouds mm -hmm. to all come in. So we think Edge is going to be sat in the middle, and, and we want to industrialize that with the same economics and make it accessible. So in doing this, does it mean that you need to partner and work with um, a range of service providers? Yes, and uh, starting from our Deutsche Telekom ownership, uh, we have now spoken to operators in, in all continents and in various ways. We announced this morning that you know, we, we now have agreements with 13 operators, the top uh, ones in, in different countries. So the, there's a, a footprint that's starting to appear that actually allows the discovery of those use cases. Now, a few months ago, uh, you released some proprietary edge computing use case data, research data, um, and made it freely available. Why did you do that? Why, why did you make that available to, to, to anyone? Well, so we as a company uh, have quite a simple business model. We don't sell anything to the telecom operators. We actually bring them new customers and new money, 
and we use the infrastructure that they already have. Because now it's all cloud enabled, and, and as long as we can access and put our software on there, we can bring new business. But what our business is dependent on is actually finding true customers, developers, uh, device makers, uh, large enterprises that want to use those services and to actually make it as easy as possible for them to access that infrastructure. So we don't, we're not worried about sharing all of our learning. We want to make sure the best solutions are put in place because we feel that then, just like we've seen in the previous generations, all boats rise. But if, if no one is, is coming with real usage, then people will invest and they'll invest without any return. So we need, we need those use cases, we need, we, we need people to, to come along with them, but for a CSP, what, what's your advice to a CSP? What should a CSP do now to prepare for these emerging use cases and hopefully the resulting commercial opportunity? Yeah, so we believe that the, this year and next year are where we have to start discovering what real customers want mm -hmm. and what enables them. So that then, over the next two years, as a 5G deployment happens, that, and those use cases mature, then we're in a position to start to scale that business. So we think this business will start to hockey stick in about 2022. But we think the people it hockey sticks with are the people that are already discovering the use cases and building services and enabling those capabilities today. Now, this is obvious in a cloud world, but the, the, I think the important part for us to accept is that edge is inevitable. Mm -hmm. Edge is happening. No one questions that. The question is how it happens, who takes part, and what's the best way to stitch that together. Well, we look forward to seeing how things develop. But for now, Jeff, thanks very much indeed for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you very much.